All right, we're back. <clears throat> Fair warning tonight. The anti-malware executable has once again returned to us, so... If the uh, stream's a little bit shitty, that's probably why. All right, so... We're gonna grab their legendaries tonight. <clears throat> and try and knock out the last, what... Where we at right now? Uh, 15 dudes, and then we'll be good. Hey, pinkies. There we go. All right. Oh, well, there's one. I forgot this is in here.
easy peasy. Much easier than I was expecting. Sludge. Poor guy. Alright. Um. Well, I didn't expect that. I'm trying to remember how this flex works. Like you go, we got the fucking maps back up. What if I should uh, grind a little bit in here? Yeah, no. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, good. I need a new one of these. Oops. Oops. Everything we talked about this far is on could probably be applied here as well. I just don't know which one is more time efficient, you know? Well, there's a Magmar. Hello, buddy. I've been waiting for you. So does that mean that... Oh, that's weird. The things that live in this cave don't appear on the Pokedex. Maybe the logic is like you're not supposed to know. Five minutes since I've been a very fruitful expedition. Spitfire, that's neat. I always really liked Magmar, even though, like, Gen 1, he's not the best thing. He's just kind of got this weird, like, niche of being a fire poison hybrid. I mean, he's not poison, but he can learn poison. Moves. It's 
Spit fire. <laughs> Not one I really got to use a Gen 1 because it was a blue exclusive and I only had red as a kid. You know. Alright, let's uh let's throw him up front, huh? Let's see what he can do. Give Jimmy a Jim Bowie a break. <clears throat> ah yeah, that's a great start. That's a very weird X break. Yeah, we're not fucking that. <laughs> no, sir. No, thank you. Yeah, still need this. So we can go and clone him. Oh, that's actually bad. Oh, it doesn't have poison, yes. Let's try it. Yeah. Get poison, nerd. Muck is an interesting poison type. It's probably the best defensive one. To the point where it feels almost too dirty to use them. If you'll pardon the pun. Oh my fucking god. Alright. Well, now we have to leave. Take care of that before we go to Mewtwo. Um, between... Fuck. Acid armor. Um, smoke screen and minimize. It's basically a triple blind of like just how far you want to go to make sure your opponent can never actually hit you or do anything. And it's super, super fucking like, aggravating. So I'm not a huge fan of using it from that kind of way. Um... Okay, back to Cerulean again, I guess. Oh, because we gotta do the thing. I gotta do the fucking thing. The whole reason I left. What box are we even in right now? Oh. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I think the thing that has, like, giving me the most headache now is just box management. Where's all my money? That's not good.
Unfortunately for a Magmar, there really isn't much in here that you can actually fight against. This thing you can hit. Hopefully. Hey, look at that. Hey, see that shit? No. Yeah. I wonder if that's the, uh... If it's just the level adjuster. Like, I forget if it also reduces experience from, uh... Wild Pokemon lower than your level. Going right for the throw, huh? Panini. Speak of Panini, we need to move him up front. Oh, that's a big boy, Jesus. Yeah. I forgot how to use this cave to grind one day, but probably not tonight. It's not the priority. It's about time I throw on a repel, honestly. I'm hesitating because I want to make sure that I'm not missing, like, Tauros or somebody.
Yeah, I think it's time for the repels. I would love to be able to walk three feet. What the fuck? Okay. Can we actually get some experience off this thing? I just have to know. Okay, not bad. Oh, that's horrifying. That's a level 70 ditto. Holy shit. That was kind of crazy. Maybe this is the way here. Maybe this is it. I can throw fucking magma right against this thing and probably kill it pretty fast. Eh. Still not a lot. Let's try it. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Do you can ride your bike in here? <laughs> 